Oh guys, might be bad news. Some of the places said that um, the village is full for the night, so we might have to keep on walking. Not what we wanted to do, but might have to. All right, good morning from day six of our trek to Everest Base Camp. Today we're starting in Namche Bazaar and we're trekking to Tingboche. Yep. And there's a sign back here actually that says that it's 23 hours of walking until base camp. Which is a little daunting. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, the past few days I've not been feeling well. I've been pretty sick. Today is the first day I've like actually started to feel normal again. Unfortunately though, I mean Dan is starting to get sick now. <laughs> And we got a bunch of medicine though, so we should be okay. We um, had a really good acclimation day yesterday, and I think it's really gonna help us today. Here we go, another day of trekking. It's a little chilly. There's a lot of frost this morning. It's just gonna get colder from here. Layers Even though it's cold, we've already been stripping layers like 15 minutes into our, our trek for the day. Because it gets pretty hot when the sun's on you. It's the UV that really gets you. We just saw our first yak. All the other yaks are kind of cows mixed with yak, but this is an actual yak. Seeing our first yak means that we're starting to really get higher up in al altitude because the real yaks are not in lower altitude, so getting high. It literally looks like a painting. Every single place we go and every mountain we see, it's amazing. First uphill, second. Well, second uphill. We didn't show you the first one, but this one's pretty steep. How are you feeling, Dan? Scale from one to ten. Scale from one to ten, I'm feeling about an eight. Oh, good. In happiness. Good. And about a three in health right now. Oh. <laughs> Dan and I are both sick, but I'm coming through the other side, but unfortunately Dan is about two days behind me, so he's still a little bit rough. Just means we gotta take it slow today, because we all wanna make it. We've got to set ourselves milestones. So at the end of this day we've got the festival, and then the next day we've got a rest day, and after that we're just counting down to the base camp. And then what? And then what? Then we're heading back to a beer. <laughs> <laughs> then we're heading back to many beers. Nice beer in Lukla, <laughs> huh? Nice beer in Lukla. The world's most dangerous airport. <laughs> <laughs> Tenth most dangerous. Tenth most dangerous. All right, so right behind us, at the very bottom, down by the river, that is where we're gonna be stopping for lunch, in this ridge right over here. Tingbuche is just on the other side of that. So I think we have about an hour to an hour and a half until lunch, which is very quick because it's only 9.30. And um, yeah, then we'll keep going. It's pretty straight uphill from there, so that'll suck. As a girl, I love it when we find actual toilets on the trail because one, we're getting out of the tree line, so just going wherever is not gonna be really a thing. And it's also not the most pleasant experience peeing when everyone's walking by you. So. We want ours. So, <laughs> so those are um, yak poop patties, and they actually put them on rock and stone to dry them out. 
so that they can burn them in the tea houses at night because any wood that you have has to be carried up and that's a lot of work. So they really use the resources well up here in the mountains. All poop drying out right there. We have found waterfall number 25, <laughs> but we are also at the town where we're going to have a lawn chat, so it's exciting. All right, so yesterday, like we said, if you saw yesterday's vlog, we made a mistake with ordering Western food for, for lunch. I'm gonna order more Western food for lunch and see if we can have a comeback. I'm gonna get macaroni tomato sauce with cheese, so Dan's yesterday wasn't that bad, but. We'll see how it is. Maddie's just gonna get the veg fried noodle with eggs, so she's playing it safe again. Not for you <laughs> What do you think? I think Dan's a little bit jealous of that. <laughs> My... Dan always seems to pick the wrong thing. <laughs> I don't know, mine looks interesting. Let me give it a little taste. Tomato sauce, at least. I don't know, Dan. It tastes pretty good. How's yours? It's not as good. Maddie? It's good. Better than the lunch we had yesterday. Back at it. All right, done with lunch. We're all carved up. Now we have like 600 meters of elevation gain, right? Ooh, yeah. It's about to be a doozy. You can tell that we have, you get pretty cold when you're sitting down and like staying still, so we kind of like bundled all up. I'm sure the second we start doing our incline, all of these clothes are coming off. Yeah. Guess. All right, here we go. Worst part of today. I can't ever, oh. All right, we're about halfway through our elevation gain for this, and for the end of this hike, we have like 330 more meters of elevation to gain. We're going at like turtle pace. We're taking lots of breaks. A little tiring, a little hot, but it's manageable. Two hundred meters, about forty-five minutes. <laughs> about forty-five minutes. Wow! <laughs> 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 so pretty. Everything. That's what I say about everything. <laughs> All right, let's go. We've made it. Go further, please. <sighs> oh my god. What a hell of a laugh. Oh my gosh, that was tiring. How you guys feel? Green packet. <sighs> what the fuck does that mean? Alright. Knackered. Talk to you when we catch our breath. How are you feeling now that we're here? I feel good now, but that, that last little bit was a doozy. Ready to drink some tea. And we are really getting up in the mountains now because there's a bunch of snow right behind us. It's so beautiful. <sighs> Time to find right. a tea house. Yep, <laughs> go find somewhere to stay. It's just a little bit. Oh guys, might be bad news. Some of the places said that um, the village is full for the night, so we might have to keep on walking for 15 or 20 minutes. Not what we wanted to do, but might have to. We're checking one more house, one more tea house, and then we'll move on. Luckily, this is all downhill to this next town. If 
this town is full. I'm not sure what we'll do because I think the next town is a little bit of a hike away. I didn't expect this to happen. Yeah, it's not even like the busiest of season. Take off your shoes, I'll say. Okay. Okay. Good. So we are staying in Depot J tonight in not Tingu J. Um, we were we really weren't expecting Tingu J to be out of tea houses. I have heard though that it does happen, so um, it's important to note that if you can't stay in Ding Buche, you can walk about 15 minutes downhill. So, since we're not staying in Ting Buche tonight, we will not be experiencing any festival because we are not walking back up. So, yeah. this is the end of our day six vlog. So, we'll catch you tomorrow when we hike up to Ding Buche. And then we also do an acclimation day there. So. Yep. so, we'll see you guys tomorrow.